Hello everybody, Ninja Llama here again. Uh, X marks the spot. No. <laughs> Actually, this is a uh, this is the top of my mob farm. It uh, runs down uh, to bedrock. There, every every three levels, it has a dispenser in the two blocks up, so it'll drop water in the shape of these triangles. And it's on a a timer down there, so it will just automatically toggle on and off to drop your mobs down. Uh, where they can be killed by a lava blade at the bottom, but just needed to go collect some more gunpowder and stuff like that. So it's in here, junk, lots and lots of stuff. But um, run low on that, so thought I'd get some. Let's run back to the base here. Uh, oh look, the rare majestic nocturnal tree chicken. <laughs> hey man, what's up? goodness. Never know the rare creatures you'll see in Minecraft. <laughs> but, um, run across the trees. Oh, goodness. Fell off the tree. Run across the trees, it will, uh, stop you from being attacked a lot of the time because mobs don't spawn on transparent blocks like leaves. So it's just a easy way to make some progress without dying. Ooh. Well, I say that. Let's get back in the base. I uh, really need to work on this end of the base. I don't really like how it looks. Like this room, I just threw it together and it looks like it. So I need to come back and work on this and maybe work on this as well because it's just a big blank canvas ready for us to do lots of work on. So. Uh, see what we can get done. I'm going to go put all these supplies up and I'll be back. Okay fellas, I'm back. Had to uh, run and deal with a little Enderman problem there at the last. He was stealing my dirt blocks and, and running away. Oh, I need some more Ender Pearls. Been making a lot of progress on the wall and my pick broke. Um, Here's where we've gotten so far. I, I think I really like it. Got the fountain coming down, and splits up, kind of broke up the look with a little cobble and stone brick. I may go back and add some cracked and mossy in there with it as well. May also change the look of uh, these walls to more closely match that. But um, I think what we're going to do is finish this up now because I like where it's headed but these um, separations are a little too drastic I think I want to look a little more rounded so we're gonna take care of that as well as um, get a new pick so let's let's grab some cobblestone walls and I believe I have another pick over here yes like to carry uh, and a, just a plain one and then a fortune one as well or a silk touch and a plain one but haven't gotten a silk touch one in a long time the only silk touch tool I have left is a shovel but hard to get that enchantment but let's see if we can't fix this uh, this little deal here I've been experimenting with the quartz I think that I'm well I know that I really like the quartz but I think I'm starting to understand how uh, how well it goes with other blocks and so I my um, plan to be using it a lot more in the future but it's actually you know doesn't go very far when you get quartz ore because every four you know gives you a single block so especially if you make stairs or something it goes really quick so we'll have to make sure to get a lot of that if we want to use it. We'll stop one short so we don't um, interrupt our water. Let's oh yeah that blends it in a lot better but still makes it look like it goes back a little bit so we will finish on this side and then step back to make sure we still like it 
sometimes a little bit is good and the whole thing is bad so check it in steps and then check once more at the end down here uh, I've been thinking about this what to do um, not really sure yet we're, we're just gonna wing it see what we can come up with first we need to to dismantle most of it but oh need one more but the original plan for this back wall over here was to have a, like a little mushroom exhibit because I really like the the mushrooms and incorporating you know them into my design as, as you can tell and um, I was thinking about having like a little upper level with a waterfall coming down and then a little path to a bottom area uh, you know where the mushrooms could walk back and forth but um, I started trying to get the giant mushrooms to grow and they were just way overpowering for this small space it would like take up like a huge chunk of it so I still would like to do a little mushroom uh, island area I may do that down there I'm not not really sure um, if y'all have any ideas on that please let me know because I really like the idea but not sure how I want to implement it but um went with the fountain instead liking how that looks have these little recess lights with the bars in front of them um, been also thinking about adding some like banners or or uh, tapestries on the walls right here to help break up the area a little bit I also need to light up above there because I've had skeletons spawning on top of my doorways and jumping down on me when I walk through and, and that's never fun so we will just go ahead and get started up here start getting rid of some of this because I already went through and got rid of that door it's this whole area I'm just unhappy with so let's see if we can fix it oh and there's also cool new features with the um, the jukeboxes they uh, play all the different records and with each record they have their own signal strength that they send out if you have a comparator attached to it so like if you have strad playing it will be a different um, signal strength as compared to stall or 13 or any of the others so that we could use to uh, to make some pretty cool areas like you'd have to play a, a certain record to get into a room or to un you know open an area think about how to use that if y'all have any ideas uh, let me know always open to new little redstone contraptions or anything that you guys would like to see me try to build or anything like that add to the base um, suggestions on the rooms and the contraptions are always welcome um, feedback is probably one of the most important things that I could get you know so feel free but what do we want this room to be? I think we need a place for the bed because right now I'm just sleeping in the hallway and that's not very good. So let's try to think of a good way to do this. I kind of like the winding staircase. So we walk up the stairs and what do we want to see? Um, it is an even number unfortunately and when I was building this whole place it's all evens and I really shouldn't have done that so now on we're gonna try and transfer to to odd numbers but we could probably go ahead and leave this one but let's uh, first let's fill in this area I don't don't really think we need this let's get some some smooth stone here. Knock these torches out. Um, let's see, when we come in, we may want to have a railing of some sort. But, hmm. Let me think. Do we want like a, a four post bed uh, set? with the, the bed in the middle or do we want like a recessed area with the bed sunk down in it um, hmm 
Hold on, guys. I'll give this a little thought, and then I'll be right back with some ideas. Okay, guys. I have an idea. So let's run with this for a second. In order to take um, advantage of this even situation, I think we're going to throw two beds down here just to make it look like one big size bed or something. Um, do we want it right there? Um, no, I think we want a back one. So we can add like a headboard or something to this. So on either side, let's put this. Let's see, do we like this? Do we want glowstone on top? Mm, maybe too high. I wish I had silk touch, but I do not. Just go ahead and grab these. I do think I want some pillars though. So we'll go ahead and add those. I think that's a nice touch. Um, may let's see how. Hmm. Maybe like these need to be here, and then we'll scoot these little side tables up one to like right by the head of the bed. Hmm. That could work. Um, hmm. But let's go ahead and add some bookshelves. I think those would help balance out the look of the room. Have our little shelving systems. I'm going to be one short, but I'll get another one of those made. Um, I think that that will look better. I think maybe I should add some more bookshelves, maybe a wooden floor, and work out. Um, this idea a little more with the bed and its frame deal but um, I will uh, work on that between now and the next episode but I was go ahead and show you guys what I was doing so that way if you had any suggestions you can let me know once again but um, this is what I think I'm gonna go with I really like this bookshelf and uh, shelves in between it idea but We'll see what we do. But this episode is running a little longer than I've been running them lately, so I will go ahead and end it here. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, favorite, all that junk. You know what to do. Just a friendly reminder. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.